Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am trying out for you the brand new, it's the Tom Ford, it's number 01, the Cafe Blush. There is a Tom Ford Cafe, it is the makeup and fragrance collection, but at this stage in the USA I think only the fragrance has been released. Last week in New Zealand when I was looking at the website of Smith & Coe's, as I usually do nearly every day for new releases, I saw this blush here and there was also three of the Tom Ford matte lipsticks. Now, I didn't pick any of those up and the reason why, I thought the colors looked quite beautiful, but I'm not really a huge fan of matte lipsticks. I have probably about half a dozen, but they're not something that I would wear for my everyday makeup. So I decided to skip those. So this was around about this blush, about 155 New Zealand dollars. Now included in that is GST, which is our goods and services tax. So if I take off that 15%, then I think when this does launch in America, it's going to be around about probably 80 US dollars. Now I have already used this blush and I can tell you that I think the shade of this is absolutely gorgeous. It is a cream blush. Here is the outside packaging. I pop the blush back in for this video. I did take photos of this when it was in pristine condition and I'll pop them up here so you can take a look at them and these photos were taken in natural light. I also took a swatch of it in natural light as well. Now you say I had a look through my blush collection. I have quite a few blushes, not as many as some other YouTube creators, but I went through the cream blushes that I have and also a couple of powder blushes. And it is quite a unique color. It is a brown rose color. And I thought I may have something similar. I've got maybe one or two that are close but they are not exact dupes or anything like that. So in the end, for the comparison swatches that I'm going to do, I've got eight other blushes in front of me and that will give you an idea of where the shade lays and whether you think it's more pink brown or more rose brown. But as I was saying, when I was doing the swatches yesterday, it definitely, I think, is more of a rose brown. It does have quite a lot of that brown undertone in it, but it is absolutely beautiful and it also wears beautifully as well. Now I've got all my makeup on today apart from the blush and most of my makeup nearly all of it is a Tom Ford. I've got Tom Ford foundation and Tom Ford eyeshadow as well. But as usual, everything that I've got on my face today and including the blush when it is available in the US, that will be listed and linked below. So I'll take this gorgeous blush out of the packaging. This is made in Italy and it has six grams of product. And I wasn't sure for six grams whether that was a lot or it wasn't that much. But when I've had a look at some of my other blushes, they are around about the six gram mark, some 5.5. So it is about average volume. And inside the blush comes in the typical Tom Ford pouch. It's a black one and it has the Tom Ford writing just along the bottom there. Now the packaging of this blush is just absolutely gorgeous. I think it is beautiful. The packaging is just outstanding. And then for the product inside, you just lift the latch. It's not a click closure. When it lowers down, it has a magnet in it. There's also a fairly generous mirror inside and here is the really gorgeous blush. As I was saying before, I have already used this and swatched it, so this is not in pristine condition now. I really love the lines down here and it has the TF in the middle for Tom Ford. So I'll swatch some of this on the back of my hand. And you can see from where I have been swatching, you can definitely see that it is a cream formula. 
Now, the other day when I tried it, and today when I'm trying it as well, I have powdered over my foundation as well. And I've got a little bit of bronzer on. I didn't put on too much because I really want the blush to shine, but this goes over beautifully over powders. It doesn't lift any product underneath. It is a really, really beautiful color. And then I'll just blend it out for you as well. So I have put this blush on using a beauty blender. I've also put it on using my fingers as well as using the Sony G, the sheer buffer. Each way that you use it, it goes on beautifully. I don't prefer one way over the other. So I'm gonna put the blush on first and then we'll have a look at some comparison swatches. So I'm going to, on the left side of my cheek, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender that I used to put the foundation on with. I'll use the clean side. This is still a little bit damp. I'm not gonna use the Sonia G Sheer Buffer because maybe a lot of you don't have that. So the left side, I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender and on the right side, I'm gonna use my fingers. Now this blush goes on fairly sheer, but it is buildable. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit a little bit of the product using the Beauty Blender. It is the most beautiful color. And each time that I've put it on, I just keep staring at it. I think the shade is just absolutely gorgeous. So you can see it just blends out really beautifully. Now you could go sheerer than this if you wanted to. I'm just having a look in the monitor. It's about the level that I would wear it normally, how it is now. But what a beautiful wash of colour it gives, really gorgeous. And it just blends out super easy. It is a really lovely formula. Now as I was saying, this is a cream formula. And once it's been on, it doesn't dry down completely, but it isn't tacky either and it isn't sticky. So with my hair, it doesn't get stuck in it or anything like that, where as it can do with some different cream formulas. So I'm just gonna tap the Beauty Blender in just a little bit more and I'll build it up. As I was saying, this is how I would wear it for my everyday makeup. But I'm just going to just build it up a little bit so you can see how it builds up. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful shade. And then on the right side, I'm just going to just use my fingers to pop some on. So I have used it with my fingers before. Probably takes a little bit longer to put on. I don't want to really <laughs> dig my fingers in, so I end up just slowly building it up. So it goes on beautifully using your fingers. You can see that it blends out beautifully. There's no patchiness or anything like that. And since I have the powder underneath, it doesn't lift the makeup that's underneath either. So that's with a couple of taps. I'll do one more into the formula and just build it up just so that it's even with that side as well. But how it is now, like I was saying, that's how I would wear it for my everyday makeup, but I'm just gonna go over it just a little bit more, just so you can see how it builds up. And you could even go more intense if you wanted to as well. And then with what's left, just at my fingers, I'm just going to just take the rest just through here. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I thought it would. I did see promo pics of this on Instagram and I thought it looked really beautiful, but it is more beautiful in person. It just applies beautifully and I just love the shade. I went back to the Smith & Coey site to buy a backup, and I don't think I've ever done that with a Tom Ford product before. But it was the next day, I went and had a look, and it had sold out. So I can no longer get my hands on it. It is such a beautiful product, I wish I had got a backup, 
but that's just the way it is. Obviously Tom Ford doesn't deliver many products to New Zealand or it wasn't in a big quantity. Although some of the Tom Ford products that are more popular, they do sell out very quickly once they reach New Zealand. So now I'm going to do a swatch of this just inside on my arm here and we'll do some comparison swatches. So first of all, we'll start off with the Tom Ford blush. And I'll just go over it one, one more time. So you can definitely see the pigment there. The formula is creamy, but it does feel silky smooth when you put it on. So the first one that I've got for comparison, now this is a Bobbi Brown one, and I don't think that this was released worldwide. I think it was released in the UK and Europe, but I don't think this was released in the USA. I could be wrong, but this was a liquid blush from Bobbi Brown and it was in the color Chul. And from memory, swatching yesterday, I think this may be the closest one. So with this blush, I actually just have to put the tiniest amount just on the back of my hand and grab a swatch that way. These are really beautiful blushes. So I'll just pick some up and we'll just swatch that next to the Tom Ford. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more. And just a little bit more again. So the Bobbi Brown and Chul and the Tom Ford Cafe blush. The Tom Ford, they are quite similar, but the Tom Ford has more brown in it. Next for comparison, I've got a Clay de Poe blush and this is shade number four. I thought some of you may have this one, so I thought I'd swatch this as well, just so you can get a comparison. But you can see with the Tom Ford, it has more brown in it than the Clay de Poe. Next, oh, I've got the Natasha Denona. This is the My Dream Cheek Trio and I'm going to swatch this one here. Now this is a different formula. It sort of feels like a cream, but goes more towards a powder. So I'm just getting a decent swatch of this. This is the one I thought of first, but they actually are quite different. You can see how much lighter the Natasha Denona one is compared to the Tom Ford that has more depth to it and has more brown in it. I'm just going to just pick up a little bit more of that Natasha Denona and just go over it again, just so we can get a decent comparison. And next I've got a Gucci blush, and this is in the shade Rosy Beige. Now, this is a powder blush. It feels creamy, but it is a powder blush. But I thought a lot of you would have this, so this is probably quite a good comparison of what the Tom Ford looks like. So that is the Gucci one in Rosy Beige. So the Gucci one actually is a bit more brown than the Tom Ford one. The Tom Ford one definitely has more, more rose in it. And next is a Westman Atelier blush. And this is in the shade, this is Mimi. So I'll just swatch that there. So that is Mimi. So again, it is similar to the Tom Ford, but the Tom Ford has just has more of a rose in it. And then I had a look at the Charlotte Tilbury. These are the Lip and Cheek Glows. This one is in Colour of Dreams. So this is what Colour of Dreams looks like. So we'll do a swatch of Colour of Dreams. So it's the Charlotte Tilbury Colour of Dreams. And then I've also got the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the one, this is Colour of Passion. And I don't think this one is similar, but I'll still swatch it just so you can take a look. Now, when I finish swatching, I'll also hold my arm up a bit better and also turn down the light in front of me a little bit just so you can take a closer look as well. And finally, I've got a Kaya Weiss blush and this came in this trio. So I'm just going to swatch one of the shades and I'm having a good look at it. And I think the shade, if I'm wrong, I'll put something up here down below, but I think the shade is Spirit 
and it's this one here. So I'm going to do a swatch of that one, get a decent amount of product, and I've nearly run out of room. So what I will do is I will put the Kaya Weiss one just here. So that's the Kaya Weiss in Spirit, and that hasn't got quite the same brown undertone that the Tom Ford has. So I've just turned down the light in front of me a little bit. So this one here is the new Tom Ford, the Cafe Blush. This one is the K.O. Weiss, and I think the shade is Spirit. Next is the Bobbi Brown, the little liquid blush I showed you in Chul. Next is the Clay de Poe, and that is shade number four. This is Natasha Denona, My Dream Cheek Trio Palette. Next is the Gucci blush, and that is in Rosy Beige. Then we have Westman Atelier in Mimi. Next is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. Both of these are. This one is Colour of Dreams, and this one is Colour of Passion. So I hope that you found those swatches helpful. Those are the ones that I could find were the closest to the Tom Ford, the new one, the Cafe Blush. I'm sure you'll probably have others. So even though a couple of them maybe were a little bit similar, there isn't an exact dupe for this blush. So I'm just going to touch it now. And I can slightly feel it, but as I was saying, it doesn't feel there's absolutely no stickiness. It's not tacky in any way. I think it looks beautiful on the skin. I actually think that it softens the cheek, the skin underneath to some degree as well. And I just think it looks really flattering. The shade is just beautiful. I really love the shade and these undertones in a blush, the rose with a brown or pinks with a brown. I think they are beautiful and I know a lot of people love that shade as well. I am not sure when this is going to be released in the US but as soon as I know I will have it on my Instagram stories and also on the YouTube community page as well. But I just think the blush is absolutely gorgeous. I am thrilled that I picked it up and I am disappointed that I wasn't able to get a backup. So that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.